Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Jimtab, J-I-M-T-A-B, model M18. This is the 1080 progressive LED video projection system. Now, I don't normally do a uh, unboxing, but this box is just so nice looking and such nice quality. It's got a handle on there that I'm gonna do the unboxing portion of it because it just seems to be very high quality. So it, let's start off with the top right here. There is a pull tab right there. And I can see there's some kind of cables in there. And you can see it's protected with styrofoam. And then the whole thing is wrapped very nice, very nice finish. It has like an aluminized finish with lines on there. And you have your controls right here. Power, menu. We're gonna go over all of these things. We're gonna be testing it. And here's your keystone adjustment and your focus. And then on the front, it has a lens cover. I'm gonna take that lens cover off. And you wanna keep that nice safe place. And there is the lens right there. Very nice quality. And on the bottom of the unit, it has feet. Now notice there's no adjustments on the feet, but they have rubberized feet right here. And there looks like there's M4 millimeter screws. There's four of them. If you wanted to ceiling mount this, you would find the balance point. You would put your mount on there just like that. And if you go to the back of the unit, let's take a look at the back. What do I see here? Okay, we got the power. We have a PC interface right there, which is typically, that's called VGA for a PC. It has a five volt, two USB ports on there and two HDMI ports so that you can have two different signals going to it, possibly switch between the two. And then on the side, if you look right here, it has very large venting. It has a SD card slot, audio video, that's, that's probably audio video out. And then it has a headphone out also. These are things that aren't mentioned on the listing, so that's nice. It has a lot of uh, functionality there. And then on the other side, it has more ventilation and a bottom is ventilation also. Now let's go over what's in this box right here. Continue the unboxing. Let's go and see what's inside this box here. You just left it just like that. I see a remote, comes with a HDMI cable, RCA to mini plug and your US plug AC and an instruction manual. So it includes a nice little small remote. We're gonna test the functions of that. And the, uh, there's a little up arrow right there. So I'm gonna just use a piece of wood right there. And it looks like it is AAA batteries. So you wanna put AAA batteries in there with the spring, you put the negative, positive, just like that. And then the cover goes back on. I'm gonna describe some of the functions here about the lens. So you notice it says focus, and that's this wheel right here for focusing. Keystone is the adjustments if you have a trapezoid because let's say your projector is on an angle and you don't have it exactly flat, you're gonna get a slight trapezoid. And this will allow you to adjust that out of a certain percentage. And we're gonna test that also. Ideally, you wanna have this projector parallel as much as you can to your surface so that you don't really need any keystone adjustment. But if you have to use it, it is there. Now, another important thing to point out about this projector and most of them in this price range is that there is no zoom function on here. You have focus and keystone. So your zoom capability is by moving this projector in and away, closer or further away from your wall or your screen. It has a fixed size based on the distance away. And we're gonna test that. 
So on the bottom of the projector, this is what they're calling a kickstand. And if you go counterclockwise, it undoes a bolt. And what that allows you to do, it allows you to adjust the angle of the projector. So that if you have it on a relatively flat surface, it raises this end up so that you can project on a slight angle. And then of course we can adjust the keystone right there because it will be a trapezoid. So I'm going to go over the specs of this projector because it's pretty important and they're really good specs. Um, projectors have something called the contrast ratio and that's the difference between the bright and the darks. As you can see there's like the example is the white versus the dark right there. So this projector has a pretty decent uh, contrast ratio of 5000 to 1. Now resolution is really important and there's a lot of 720 progressive frames or 480 progressive frames, small projectors out there. And it's just not enough pixels uh, to produce a clear image. When you start to get in a picture size that's over 54 inches diagonal, you really need to get into the higher ratios. So this is 1080 native progressive uh, frames. It's got about three times the details of 720p. Uh, so that means that the sensor in here that's, that uh, has the image on there where the light is going through is three times more volume of sensors than 720 progressive. And that's the native resolution. That's not an upscaled resolution. That's the base resolution of the projector. And uh, software wise, this will support 720 interlaced, 720 progressive, 1080 interlaced, and 1080 progressive. Most of the time, you're going to be using 1080 progressive to get the best signal. And we're going to be using the HDMI cable that's included to do that. Now, you can theoretically go up to 300 inches, which is 25 feet diagonal. I think most people are going to keep it to within 120, 150 inches diagonal. That's a typical size screen for, screen for a home theater. It has a 16 to 9 or 4 by 3 ratio, depending on what signal you're sending it. And one of the big things unique about this projector is it's an LED bulb. So the bulb that is projecting through this lens, through the LCD panel, is LED. And that's pretty impressive. So it doesn't take a lot of uh, energy either. We're going to measure that. So this bulb, you don't have to have lamp bulb fear because it will last 50,000 hours. So to give you an example, that's if you were watched television on this projector for three or four hours all day, it would last you 15 years, that, that bulb. Um, the noise level is about 45 decibels, which is pretty good. Um, the manufacturer, the seller, Jim Tab, G-I-M-T-A-B, they offer a full three year warranty on this product and free lifetime technical support so you can contact them on Amazon and they'll answer all your questions. So I have the projector plug powered in and I'm going to turn it on for the first time. We're going to check it out. So I am seven and a half feet away and I have it on an angle using that adjustment right there because I want to show the keystone. So I am seven and a half feet away from the wall right there exactly to the lens. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm just going to use the remote. There's a power button right there. I put batteries in there and let's just see what comes on. And there you can hear the fans coming on and there comes on the LED light. Very nice, very quick. And let's go over to the screen. And I have the studio lights here dimmed down. Now you notice it looks like a nice square image, even though the projector is on an angle, as I mentioned. That's because I adjusted the keystone. So right on top, right here, is that keystone adjustment, and there's the focus. So I'm going to turn this keystone so you can see. Watch what happens to the image. So you see the top gets larger, the larger it becomes a trapezoid. And then the bottom gets larger, becomes a trapezoid. So I'm right in the range of that adjustment. So look how easy that is. You just adjust it till you have a nice square. The focus is very simple. That's just that knob right there. 
So if you go back right here, you can see I can go out of focus or I can go in focus just like that. And just use your eye till you get it right. Now you notice it has, it says no device there. And then you have movie, music, photo, and text. And I th think those are presets for the quality of what you're going to be showing. So I just wanted to show the keystone adjustment and the focus adjustment. And you can feel the heat right here coming out of this. I put a little heat gun um, temperature measuring device. 115 degrees. So what's happening is, is the cold air is coming through on this side right here. It's going through the lamp mechanism and coming out right here, cooling off. And I could see some aluminum vents right there. So this is doing what it's supposed to do. It's cooling that projector bulb off. I want to point out that I'm seven and a half feet away from the lens, as I mentioned, and the diagonal distance diagonally this way I just measured is 68 inches so it gives you a feel for the throw ratio so you know how far you have to be to get a certain size screen so here's where the SD card goes we're going to test and then here is headphone and here is audio video so the included cable would plug into there and what you get then is your RCA you get uh, left and right audio out of that. On the remote there is a source button and if you hit that you can see you've got SD let me hit that again source button right there so you have SD card USB AV which is uh, RCA connectors HD1 HD I'm sorry HD2 HD1 and PC RGB so you have a choice we're going to be testing the SD card initially, then we're going to be testing this HD1 and sending it a very high quality 1080 progressive signal. Now if you hit the menu option on here, which was right there, then you can see you've got all these different menu. Picture mode is standard, and you can move down the cursor right there. You have color temperature medium aspect ratio is 16 by 9. Noise reduction is in the middle. Projection direction front, so that's what I'm doing. I'm, you could also change it. And there's language, restore factor default. So there's a lot of things you can do right here to determine what the setting is best for you. And they have it set right in the begin in the middle. There's an HDMI setting right there. Reduce display size. All these things you can read in the manual will tell you what effect they have. And that's all in a menu function. So I put an SD card there and I have some relatively low resolution pictures and if you go to the menu you want to uh, pick photo and then pick that uh, C drive right there and then it comes up with a couple of the pictures that I put there and then you can select the different picture and it displays it right there. And back to the main menu and I'm going to try and select movie because I have some uh, videos there. And now you see the movie playing. Looks nice. Now you can hear the sound coming from the unit. Actually sounds pretty good. I'm impressed. You also want to point out that the speaker is right in the back right there and it sounds pretty good. So another way to display pictures and video is you could use one or both of those USB ports. So I have a USB stick on there and you go to the menu. So you go to the input select and you hit USB as opposed to the SD card and then it's going to show you the little drive and you pick C which is right there and then of course you can move across and select one of the images right there so if you have a video playing 
and you want to use headphones, it's very simple. You just plug into the headphone out right there, and I hear stereo of the movie that I'm watching. So it has a stereo output there as well as that output right there, which you can go to a separate amplifier. So I'm doing a basic uh, Lux test here. I have a the projector on. I'm about a meter away, and I have a Lux meter, and I have it positioned on the white section of that image right there, and I'm getting 2,800 Lux. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I'm getting 2,800 Lux. And that's pretty good at one meter away. Now it's hard to convert that to lumens, but it tells me that this is definitely bright enough for projection for a, a large screen. That's really good. Okay, I have the projector with an HDMI signal with a really long cable going to my DVR, which you can't see right there. And I am about 16 feet away from the projector lens and it's projecting a big image about almost eight feet diagonally this way diagonally and I'm projecting it on my wall because I don't have a screen in this room and uh, it looks really good you can see the contrast ratio looks good and uh, it's nice and bright you just have to play with the focus a little bit and get it right and it works really well and the sound is automatically coming from the HDMI to the back of the projector so what do I think about the gym tab model M18 1080 progressive LED video projector I like this product, it's very simple to use and I demonstrated its functionality. I was able to play videos and send pictures from an SD card and a USB stick, play videos and pictures and the audio came through on the speaker and I showed that HDMI worked and I was able to project a very large 8 foot diagonal image and it was, it was bright, I was very impressed. So recapping what this comes with, it comes with your HDMI cable, the remote control, the manual, the power cord, the extraction for the stereo output, and the projector itself. This is very easy to use and everything worked on it. So I'm gonna give it a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.